Good morning, Lakes Community Church. Pastor Chase here with another daily word for you. Today we are going to be in Jeremiah 29, verse 11. This is actually a really interesting time in Israel's history. Right now we're right in the middle of Jeremiah, and what's going on is part of Israel is in captivity of Babylon. Some is back in Israel. Some are back in Israel, sorry. Um, and what's going on is there is a false prophet in the previous chapter, chapter 28, who is saying that God's going to be restoring Israel within the next two years. And God's not saying that. This prophet is just saying this of his own volition, of his own decision, not hearing from God because that's what he wants to have happen, not because that's what God is going to do. So Jeremiah says, I, I hope that happens. I really hope that God brings us all back in two years. But he's not going to because we need to live out the punishment that we've earned. So God had taken Israel into captivity to Babylon. He had sent Babylon to take them as a punishment for them not following him. So God, even though he's punishing them, and they're in the middle of a punishment, and he goes and he has an even worse punishment for those who weren't taken into captivity into Babylon, and we see that in verse thir or in chapter 30. Uh, but in the midst of their punishment, in the midst of their failures, this is what God has to say to them. He says here in verse 11, he says, For I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not for calamity, to give you a future and a hope. Then you will call upon me and come and pray to me, and I will listen to you. Verse 13, you will seek me and find me when you search for me with all your heart. I'll be found by you, declares the Lord, and I will restore your fortunes, and I will gather you from all the nations from where, or, and from all the places where I have driven you, declares the Lord, and I'll bring you back to the place from where I sent you into exile. Okay, in the midst of their punishment, in the midst of their failures, and in the midst of God being frustrated with them, that's a beautiful promise that God has. So I want to encourage you guys that in the midst of this craziness, and now I'm not trying to say that what's going on right now is a punishment. I'm not trying to say that God is pouring down his wrath upon us. I don't know. I'm not God. So I can't say what he's really doing. I do know that he's in complete control right now. I know that no matter what's going on, he's got it. And he has a plan for us. And Jesus brought us peace. Jesus brought us all these amazing things. Just like God had promised these Israelites here in this verse, amazing things. God still has amazing things in store for us. So seek him with all your hearts. We've already been encouraging you and I'm just going to echo it again. Seek the Lord with all your heart during this time and see what God does. Seek God with all your heart and see how he shows up. I know that's something that we say all the time in the church, but it's something that needs to be said all the time because seeking God all the time is the best. It really is. So I just want to encourage you guys, dig deep, find the Lord. All right. I hope you guys have an amazing day. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.